<clears throat> All right. So, rainy, blicky day. It's Tuesday. I just had no idea what to title yesterday's video. <laughs> it was like, I mean, yesterday I was in the morning, I was having anxiety. Um, and then, so like, I got the message, hey, maybe we can talk or something. And I tried to postpone it to practice because I always like to be face to face in conversations like that. So, during my hour hind trip, I was getting a bunch of stuff that's, you know, asking questions and trying to figure out, plan out, oh, those chips make me hiccupy. Anyways, and so I was planning out what was going on and what was doing that. And then I realized, and then I was laying in bed because I was having that, oh, gee, I have something that may happen at random times. I need to be available. So I'm constantly available. So anyways, yeah, we had the call. Lasted about half an hour, and it was fine. Most of the stuff at the beginning was answered. That I had, I had no questions because all of the anxiety and questions I was going to ask were answered in the beginning. I'm, yeah. That actually does think of me as quite positive. Um, but... He's like, we can at least be teammates. We're not probably not going to be best friends. And my brain immediately said, didn't say to him, yeah, no, I'm probably not going to have a best friend in the, here. It just, I'm 40. I had my chance. I got one. And then I moved out of the States. So I look at the students walking four by four during the, down the bike path. I don't get it. Anyways, I'm heading to Albert Hein, or I'm heading to Yumbo and all that stuff now. And then, so I did that dumbass thing again. My appointment is at 15.50, not 5.50. Talking with someone from TikTok who contacted me on Instagram, but we're talking on TikTok Messenger. It's fucking terrible, because I can't use speech to text. His last little thing, but there will always be rich white people. And I don't mean like super Jeff Bezos rich, but there's a level of like affluence that people have that just, there are folks on TikTok that still use the term expat. I'm trying to get a Vinther ball. There's folks that still use expat despite the fact, and I know that they're told that and they're told to use that and that's a really cool kitschy term and it's nice. But when you call them an immigrant, they're like, well, yeah, but I'm an expat. Like it's different, but it's really just rich white folks and it's affluent folks that had the money to kind of move here, still maybe have something to go back to in the States other than literal family that live there, but they don't have a home or um, anything to reset themselves back up. Or they have something to set themselves back up or something, I, I don't know. But these folks that are like, to be fair, they're probably exactly my age. You know, they're in their late 30s, early 40s, but they didn't have the issues Growing up, um, they were, you know, they got a good job. They got their college diploma. They built up a decent amount of wealth. They probably have retirements. And I just, <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, ooh. And they move here and they're like, okay, well, who did Morgan? <laughs> Alamal. It would be better if you just went all, and I can't. It's so frustrating that I don't want to be lumped in with those folks. Sorcy frambos. That's why I've never seen this, because it's behind the post. And it just, it bothers me, the fact that they're, that the, the, they move here, or they move to even other countries, and they don't, they stay in little expat bubbles. They stick around people that'll immediately switch over to English. They don't have, you know, other language conversations. They cater to the lingua franca. Uh, okay, that looks good. De sinus apple era natura. Even schroden. Yeah. So, I shook it up because it looked like this. And I shook it to look like that. Yeah. Pulp free don't really exist. Ooh, banana. Nope. 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 Okay, okay. Pentabola, bacon, meatballs. Oh my god, it's so full. I have, 
I have the, I have the banana juice yeah. in there, so. Okay. <laughs> I did wind up buying that banana juice. Um, and then I have Aaron's water. <clears throat> if I have any issues walking back to the bus after eating my Heitenkast Broja, so you guys know what this looks like, and you can. I stopped here at Porterhouse outside tables because. Walnuts, honey, arugula, goat cheese, love it. I'm gonna have some coffee and eat my thing. Huh. Changed since last week. Construction next to the cop shop. Sorry. Polizzi Bureau. Anyways, I was in Atos and I was looking for uh, baby powder. <laughs> There's a trade of price, and I'm like, I don't want another one. It takes me like months to go through this stuff. I was like, nee, but don't. This ain't plus in gratis. I'm like, it's melatonin plus CBD. I don't even know if it's gonna work. I don't want to have extras if it doesn't fucking work. The Netherlands, when they're like, you can buy one for free, and I'm like, yeah, but it also decreases your stock for people that actually wanted to use it. <laughs> but it's free. And I don't know if it's because I grew up relatively poor or whatnot, but I just, just cause something's free doesn't mean you need to take it. To which mostly I want to say, yeah, just cause it's free doesn't mean you need to take it. <laughs> just cause it's shiny and sparkly doesn't necessarily mean, and it belongs to someone else doesn't mean, oh, you're coming home with me. But I also didn't want my receipt and she just sat behind the counter. I'm like, what? Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, it's like three, it's like three fucking milligrams or something of melatonin and five milligrams of CBD or something like that. Uh, just the worst. I don't even know if they're gonna work. And I realized dealing with some of the more conservative Americans. And I realized when it comes to Americans, of a lot of varieties. They'd be, they, they could be of any political affiliation or sexuality. But I'll tell you this much, it's only a joke when you're getting in trouble for it. If you're not getting in trouble for it, it's mean as fuck. Okay, it is currently 1540. My thing is at 1550. And uh, I don't know what I can record inside a hospital. We'll update you guys afterwards. It is an ultrasound. I don't know what information I will get. Well, the fucking parrots are going crazy. Anyways. Sorry about the water droplet right here. Um, that's a little better. They are going crazy. But anyways, so I'm walking through Oster Park right now because eh, get a little bit of a walk in or something. I was in that office. I was in the waiting room for like half an hour. I got in at like 47. And I sat down, I was like, oh, I'm a little early. 27, so like 40 minutes they called my name. I went in, actual doctor guy. So she got me in, she admitted me, she did all the various things, cool. And then like, she went into another room and then old guy came in and uh, I explained my problems with the shoulder and he, he explored with an ultrasound on my shoulder. I had, I probably still have goop on there, but he didn't notice anything particularly wrong. There's no like screamingly large rupture. There's nothing like bad with a, I, I, you know, with the bursa sac, there's no major tearing of any tendons. I probably just have, he says there could be very minor things that lead to the pain and the complaints. That's a very common way for the Dutch to say it. Uh, it's clacton, I believe would be the term. 
um, with uh, in Dutch and it kind of means like symptoms complaints stuff like that anyways so uh, so that's just what's going on with that. He didn't see anything majorly wrong. To be fair, I do have really good motion of it. It just sort of sucks <laughs> from time to time. He will look at the things a bit more um, overall and see if, you know, look at the tinier things because like he had little like this size screen of stuff as he was taking pictures or whatever. And so he needs to get on the bigger screen where he has higher resolution, yada, yada. Anyways, that's how that goes. There's nothing major wrong. Um, but yeah, so you guys got to hear the parrots going crazy back there by the uh, Slavonai? It's memorial. I want to say it's the memorial to slavery, but they're not memorial. You know what I mean? It's freedom from bonding, bondage or something like that. Um, I don't know why I talk to you guys about art. Most of you aren't gonna come here and see this stuff anyways. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that's the initial thing. Like I said, I wasn't sure who was gonna do it, if it was gonna be a technician. Nope, full on doctor guy. So uh, yeah, like I said, just walking through the park, having a great time. Gotta do a bit more Assassin's Creed. Uh, I think I'm just going to go pick off some things I need to do, and then, uh, stream that and then get ready for, like, once Aaron starts cooking, end that, get ready for the, uh, scout film meeting. <laughs>